All right, so we're here at Tucker House Renewal Center in Clarence, Rockland, and we have with us Matt and Lauren from the Otesha Project. And they're here with the Pedal to Plate Tour and just helped out with uh, some workshops for the campers here talking about food. So I'm wondering, Matt, perhaps if you could tell us a bit about the Otesha Project. The Otesha Project is a youth-led charity that focuses on the idea that uh, whatever we do in our daily lives has the ability to make the world less sustainable or more sustainable. Fantastic. So that means that we organize groups of volunteers that travel from community to community by bicycle. And in the case of the Panel to Plate Tour, we are meeting with farmers, talking about, trying to start conversations about what sustainable eating looks like. So obviously that's different for every community and we're trying to uh, learn as much as we can everywhere we go. Uh, we also run longer two-month tours that present a play about sustainability. And the next one coming up is called Kootenai Mountain. It starts September 3rd, it goes for two months and starts in Vancouver, ends in Lethbridge, and they're going to perform 27 times in schools. Wow. So the Pedal to Plate tour is a little bit different than your usual kind of tour. We've had uh, Otesha come out to Tucker House previously and present to campers. And at that point we had a whole lot of youth on bicycles who were doing several months worth of touring across Canada. But this time we've had a range of ages and it's a shorter tour. So could you tell us a bit about the motivation behind that? It's a little unique for you guys. Absolutely. The, the heart of Otesha are the volunteers that get on the bikes and cycle from community to community and uh, engage in these conversations about sustainability. Uh, and we're finding that what we really want is that, well, there's so much interest, there's such an overwhelming response to that uh, from people of all ages and different walks of life. Not everybody can step out of the, the rest of their life for two months, though, to uh, go on a bike tour. So the Pedal to Plate Tour is a response to, for people who uh, it can take a week off work, uh, people of any age, people from any background who want to try out what it is to try and live as what we call a mobile sustainable community. Figure out together as a group what it means to make choices about sustainable eating, about how to get from A to B on your bike, uh, what to do with the waste that we generate when we eat and cook uh, or just live. So. It's, uh, we organize it as an opportunity for, to engage a wider range of people, for sure. All right. So, Lauren, is this your first time on an Otesha tour? The very first. And what are the highlights so far? Um, the hills, being able to conquer them. I didn't know if I'd be able to, but so far, good. That's about the only highlight. Um, the people would be definitely. Um, here's a group of nine individuals plus our staff that I would never probably have met otherwise. And learning from them, taking from them, giving to them, it's just proved to be in, so far an incredible experience. And I mean, we still have a week to go, so things could change, but I have high <laughs> hopes that we keep going this uphill journey that we are on. Awesome. And finally, I know that the Phenomenal Food Tour just returned to Ottawa recently, and that was a longer tour. And this one's the Pedal to Plate Tour. So could you tell us a little bit more, either one of you, about the focus on food sustainability and how you choose your themes and why this one came up as one of such importance? Well, we all eat. Yeah. <laughs> Food's pretty important. And it's one of the things that, uh, I mean, Latesha is about daily choices making it, making an impact for <coughs> excuse me a more sustainable world probably the choice that we make the most often is related to food somehow a couple hundred times a day yeah. I'm, you know making a choice about where i get my food what do i choose where did it come from how do i cook it what do i eat what do i do with it when i'm done with it um, so it's just sort of one of the most concrete um, ways that we interact with the world, with other people around us. So, uh, and there's also a lot of momentum and interest about food these days and all the issues I just mentioned. Where it comes from, how it was produced, what's healthy, what's not. So this is a way for uh, a bunch of people to get together and, and learn more about that. And that's a choice everybody makes is food. So it's not, hmm. like there's no boundaries on age, race, sexuality, and stuff like that. 
It's like these are choices that everybody has to make, and that's what's great about the group. It doesn't matter who's in here, we're all going to come together with these decisions or not. But worldwide, that's, that's why. It's a pretty big common denominator. Yeah. <laughs> Food and sleep. <laughs> Food and sleep. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You did some fantastic workshops with our Country Fund Nature Camp kids to learn about food choices. So if you want to learn more about Country Fund Nature Camp or Tucker House, people can visit our website at tuckerhouse.ca. And if you want to know about the Otesha or join up for a tour, where can they contact you? Otesha.ca. That's O-T-E-S-H-A. <laughs> fantastic. And we still have some spots left on our fall tour from Vancouver to Lethbridge. Okay. Thank you.